it's your boy true back again with another video yup that's two videos in one day i've been having so much fun recording and editing that i decided to pop out a second one for today um today we're going to be going over my elite armory and looking into it because a lot of my friends over at xbox want me to upload it because i am very lucky and i do get a lot of elite weapons and a lot of the good variants as well so that's what i'm going to be showing you today i'm going to be recommending some elite weapons and recommend and non-recommending some of them so let's get into it yo what's up homies let's take a look into my armory so we got some clothes i'm not going to really go over those as much because they don't really matter as much but i will go over the weapons and i will recommend some like the inferno and the obsidian steed i recommend the obsidian steed the obsidian steed is far better than the inferno the inferno is a very good weapon do not get me wrong but the obsidian steed is a three shot kill from pretty much 50 to 60 meters and then it drops off the four shot inferno faster fire rate but you're gonna have to get those 10 headshots to get the um quick draw grip because the um, mobility is down, which means the ADS is down a lot more. Which means it takes a while to look in. The Bulldog Manti, I just got that. Haven't really tried it out, but I'm guessing it's good because it's got accuracy up one. Crossbow, just a skin. EM1 Poner, the best EM1 you can get. It is up to and damage. This thing melts on hardcore, and even on core it melts. It is a fantastic weapon, highly recommended. Parsec, the best EMP M3 you can get, uprange, and I think you can't get any under barrel attachments. The bare fist, um, it's a good weapon. I would recommend it if you have it, but if you have the insanity, I recommend that more because the bare fist is a very shaky weapon. The insanity is outstanding. It is the one of the best weapons in the game. It has up to fire rate and up damage. It is amazing. Shields, just skin, spanner, highly recommend this gun. If you have the breakneck, I highly recommend that instead. But if you have the spanner, it is still an amazing weapon. The range is fantastic. If you don't like the slow fire, you can just slap on um rapid fire. I'm going to get a bunch of knee guards, um just the radical loadouts, um Kingpin. This gun, I do not know how it's elite. It is poo-poo. Um the Maw's oppressor. Just the skin again. Then we got the helmet, the shin guards, the marine X or the marine green X or MDL. Just the skin again. The eagle eye and the eclipse. They are both very very good weapons. I highly recommend the eclipse for core and the eagle eye for hardcore. The eclipse is better on core because he's got up and damage and up accuracy, so you don't miss your shots as much. The eagle eye not so much, but it's hardcore, so it's a one shot kill. The Doctor, I recommend the Doctor over the Silver Bullet because of the fire rate. On core, you just can't hit them in the arms and legs. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but the fire rate's a lot faster as with the Silver Bullet, it's slower. The MP11, best MP11 you can get. This is a savage weapon. You get this, you use it. It's savage. Grok, not that great. Um, Screaming, the camo is beautiful on it, but... It, it's just got up and fired. It's really not that fantastic. Just Nigerian, a bunch of that. Loophole. The loophole is a lot better. It's it's about the same as the exploit. I think the exploit looks cooler, but the loophole is also a good alternative. It's got up and up in magazine size. The rail driver, the best the best RW one you can get. The accuracy is just lower, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Bunch of clothes again. Sentinel operator. Um, almost have it all. SN six third. Um, the SN six third is a lot better than money. Don't let the looks deceive you. The SN six money is a good weapon if you have it, but if you have the third, use that instead. The damage and the range are the most important things on a gun when it comes to an elite version. That makes it a good gun. The mobility is a little bit slower, so the ADS is a little bit slower, but you can easily fix that. Bread and butter. The other one's the bacon and eggs. Um, I recommend the bread and butter. I like that better because of the fire rate. You can load off more rounds downrange a lot quicker. Just the damage is down, but again, the fire rate, just like the speakeasy, does that. Um, but that's going to conclude my video. Um, 
I think there will be double XP this weekend, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, yeah, so expect a prestige video coming out of from me probably tomorrow or Saturday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again. Peace.